Good morning. Today on the bench we have this nice Iowa with its case, battery, cartridge, and it is HSPL777, one of the latest, one of later Iowas, also with uh, W shaped head hard permaloy hx this one is okay so let's try and let's see what problems do we have right here oh i have heard uh, i think motor Yeah, I think that was a motor. Let's try again. Yeah. I think motor is stuck. Stuck. Maybe this one here uh, built it. issue. Okay, so let's disassemble then. deteriorated yeah that's why motor sounded like it is stuck okay so let's proceed with with removing main board so what we have to do we have to unscrew those three screws actually a bit more those two also we have to remove so that we can lift this thing out and we have to unsolder uh, those two terminals the, they are controlling solenoid that is uh, responsible for uh, controlling uh, internal me internal mechanics okay so let's proceed thing we have to unsolder those okay so we have to remove that bracket 
this device service reminds me HSP705, I think. It's look, it looks very, very similar. Okay, so we have to install the those contacts. <laughs> So, motor pins. verdict for the belt is kaput since we are already here for maintenance preserve i think we will change those caps three capacitors this one also because i see that we have a bit of electrolyte corrosion right here and if i remember correctly this one is 47 uh, 47 microfarads yes okay so only four caps need to be changed right here okay so let's continue okay so i have prepared capacitors for for this machine let's now remove that belt oh yeah it is actually melting right away oh and it is stuck so we will have to do cleaning of those capstan pulleys and all other pulleys
they are already started to leak. As you can see. And let's solder those legs.
Okay, so basically I think this should be working. So let's, let's check a bit further.
Okay, so we have replaced that chip because uh, that chip have had some issues with uh, left channel uh, and now those issues are solved. So let's proceed with assembly process. Okay, so let's continue with assembly. align those switches to off position and also this one switch to down position so that will be much more convenient for you to assemble them okay let's check fine 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 also fine Okay, let's put in this. Basically, all we have to do now is just to uh, Check tape speed. And that will be it. Not this device. one has a battery indicator on top okay so potentiometer for speed correction is right here let's grab Actually, we are, we are a bit slow. Huh? What about other direction? No, oh, this one is interesting. Okay, so we have to be like in that position, I think for this device mm -hmm. what about another direction then? I 
Okay, so we are in the specification, but a bit too a bit too low. Okay, fine. So let's try to do a bit better. Maybe here and lower the one backward. Mm -hmm. So we are in the plus minus 45 hertz, so we are now like 25 hertz more, so this would be fine, and also backward we have like 12 hertz less it's a bit fluctuating but this is this is what we can achieve for this device okay so we will uh, i will meet you in the final test okay so final test let's put in Test tape. Rewind. Fast forward. Everything works just fine. So Okay, so thank you for your attention and uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.